Much has been spoken about Hussein's signature faceless women, but the women in Chula do not appear to follow that model. Hussein's 1961 painting Jula represents a turning point in his artistic trajectory. We find a transitional period in the early 1960s when Jula was created, where Hussein experimented with more organic forms, particularly influenced by classical Indian sculpture. These two figures have an earthy, goddess-like quality to them, surrounded by the natural world. Hussein had many muses in his life. At the early stages, it's the absence of a muse. It was the absence of his mother that really informed his work, and which is why you tend to see a lot of faceless women depicted in the body of his works. He would paint Bollywood actresses, he would paint dancers, even going back um, thousands of years. He was also very much um, inspired by Mother Teresa, and so devoted an entire series and body of works to Mother Teresa. He would depict Mother Teresa almost like the Pieta, which goes back to his earlier issues of not having a mother who died very early in his life. Mm -hmm. 